do the part two of this test where we actually drive this thing as far as we can. Little camera so we can do a time lapse of the whole trip. Got the Garmin. We're going to track our exact um, time and distance. And I think you can map it out where we go and all that stuff. So this is the cart we're going to do it on. It's a 2001 Easy Go TXT PDS. And then it's for the lithium. In this case, the Dakota, Dakota lithium batteries. Just a 36 volt pack. Replaced the six six volt lead acid. So we're gonna go for a ride. It's a nice day out today, and it's probably gonna take about three to four hours. We're gonna hit like a nominal speed of 15 miles an hour, and try to hold it around there. See how far we can get. Three o'clock on the dot. Three o'clock on the dot. And just to confirm, I disconnected the charger and uh, starting voltage is 43 volts. Take it down to 10%, 90% used. The lithium pack is like very consistent through 90%. Um, but that last 10%, the voltage really nosedives. So what happens is when you floor it in a golf cart, your loads probably momentarily go well above 100 amps, at least on this cart. Um, and it will cause the voltage to drop out on the battery packs, the voltage protection, and then it kills the pack. So you gotta be careful at the last 10%. the end of our test and we have 23% remaining 22 amp hours the pack voltage under load is 37 or so um, cruising at 15 miles an hour pulling 24 amps uh, and then so far we've gone I'm, I can't read that 36 36 even mm -hmm. and then how long we've we been driving for Three and a half hours, and it's cold, very cold. So, <laughs> but I'm gonna stick it out to the end till this thing dies. So we're gonna get back to our cul-de-sac with around 15 <laughs> percent. It's Florida, yes, it's Florida, but it's cold, especially while cruising at 14 or 15, 16, 18 miles an hour. So, getting close to the end, and then I'll film at the end see what it actually gets. How many miles are we going? 36.1. Okay. Well, looks like we can probably get a solid actual 40 miles in the real world in real life. So, all right. It's cold. So we're really getting down towards the end now. Um, got 12% remaining, 12 amp hours. Voltage under load is dropping to 37.2, still kind of holding strong. Um, the distance we've traveled so far is over 41 miles. And we've gone quite a lot of time so I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna be back home by 10% and then I'll probably do some laps in the cul-de-sac to see how the battery pack behaves at 10% or less so 41.2 miles that's pretty darn good pretty happy with this thing that's that's actually a little bit more than I figured we could get but it's excellent all right, I'm done. It's too damn cold. So, let's see here. 
Took it down to 9%, 9.2 amp hours left. The voltage was still holding strong. I think I could have got a couple more miles out of it. Um, and so this Renogy meter is set up for those uh, Dakota batteries, which are 100 amp hour. So you just program 100 amp hour into the Renogy meter. We should have 9.2 left, or you know, almost 10% left. So we've got a 10% reserve by coming home at this time. Um, and the voltage actually is still holding strong. They'll they'll really start to die when they go around 11 volts, I think. Um, so around 30, 35 or less on the pack. Um, and so we made it. The trip time was four hours. The time moving was three hours and 27 minutes. The trip distance was 42.7 miles with still a 9.2% reserve. Moving average was 12 miles an hour. The maximum was 19. Uh, I, I kind of didn't hit the throttles too hard. We did go off-road a little bit, and I did floor it a couple times. But generally just tried to keep a average speed like we would use it in the neighborhood, which is usually around uh, 15 miles an hour. So and then we had some stop time. We went to a store to get some stuff and uh, use the bathroom and whatnot. And uh, had the stereo on, had the headlights on for portion of time it's pretty impressive 42 actual 42.7 actual miles in the real world in real life with a reserve and that is for these particular batteries which are the Dakota lithiums and I just got done and these things are just warm I mean it's kind of cold out so I can feel a little bit of heat coming off of here not very much I should check the voltage of each pack I think I'm gonna do that let me do that now all right all right so we're just gonna test these packs or individual batteries to see what they actually are at the end of this so 12.79 on one twelve point seven five on the other and 12.75 so that actually is incredible I think we could have gone for a little bit longer I got to check the chart there's a chart for this for the discharge um, that uh, that's pretty impressive I think we could I think we could have squeezed out 45 miles and that's using the radio and the headlights and uh, actual driving 42.7 yeah so the combination of this uh, golf cart which is again is a Textron uh, easy go 36 volt uh, PDS it's got the PDS controller it's got the uh, freedom chip which is the speed chip that allows it to go a little bit faster uh, but it actually takes away range uh, in trade for faster speeds um, and a 36 volt Dakota lithium pack with that Renogy meter is a pretty good combination because it really tells you what you need to know. So you're going to get 21 miles an hour in a cart like this, 42, you know, 42, at least 42 miles range, and that meter tells you when you need to get home. I, I would recommend that you get home by 8 or 9 percent and you'd be very close to home at 8 or 9 percent and you really feather your throttle, be careful with your throttle because if you hit the pack hard by flooring it you're gonna dump the voltage uh, and it may disconnect one of the batteries and then you'll be done until you reset it so as you're getting close and very low you know below 10 percent um, feather the throttle but I'm impressed with this whole package I'm very happy with it. I didn't think we would get 40 miles and it was cold out there so are you happy with it mm -hmm. I'm happy with it That's I'm good. warm are you warm it's time for dinner <laughs>